My driving is very limited. I do drive. I did go uh, to a doctor who has me involved in the bioptic driving program. So officially, I have a driver's license with extra uh, help, special classes, and that kind of thing. But I really, I drive around the neighborhood, back roads, that kind of thing, if I can. But I really do not go on any kind of busy roads because I feel that I do not have the response time that would be uh, safe for the driving in heavy traffic. So whenever it comes to going outside of my neighborhood or back roads, I, I depend on somebody else to take me at that point. I just don't think it's safe for me or anybody else to be uh, driving out in the main roads. Uh, in New Year's Eve 2002, I was diagnosed with ocular histoplasmosis which is similar to macular degeneration in that it affects the macula of your eye, which of course affects your central vision. Um, I describe to people it's sort of like looking through Vaseline if you try to, when you're looking at things. So obviously it, it uh, limits your driving and other things as well. Um, so as far as transportation is concerned, I have lots of lovely friends in the church and friends in the neighborhood that certainly are willing to to take me places and so forth but I just hate I, sometimes I just hated to think about putting so much on them and ITN gives me another avenue that I can uh, find rides to different places and be more independent in that way um, so it's it's uh, definitely been a a challenge, you know, to, to get used to a new life, but it, it really does broaden your uh, your horizons, I suppose, <laughs> and being able to get out, it, it's easier to get out and do what you need to do. I do have a mother that I'm the caregiver for, and I'm able to get her to appointments. As a matter of fact, we're going to one tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm able to get her to appointments, uh, doctor's appointments and things uh, using ITN, which makes it a lot easier for me because I am the only caregiver for her uh, in, the, in our homes, so it makes it very helpful that way. Well, definitely, uh, I think the first thing you have to learn when you're faced with something like this is to be brave enough to ask for help because I think we tend to think, oh, we're such a burden to other people. I was asking them to take your places and, and all that kind of thing. But I think you have to remember that people want to help you. And if, you know, if ever I say something you know, that, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm putting you out of your way or so forth, most people that know will say, no, it's a privilege to be able to help you and take you places. And so you just have to understand that it's okay to ask for help whether it be your neighbors, your family, ITN, it's okay. It's okay to ask for help because people really do want to, to do their part and to help you.